What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Olá a todos, bem-vindos ao meu canal. If you're new here, my name is Vilma. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a Zara Spring haul. Now, if you are familiar to my channel, you know that my last haul I actually mentioned I was struggling to find items that I enjoy, that I would enjoy buying. But one of the items that I bought here kind of like inspired me to dig in a little bit further into their collection and I feel like I found really cool pieces to add on to my capsule wardrobe. Now, if you're new here, I am a five foot seven, which is one meter 70. Um, I am a size UK 16, which is kind of like extra large in Zara. Sometimes I buy large, but the most, for the most part, if they do have extra large, that's the size that I go for because it fits me perfectly. So I'm going to start with the blouse that I'm actually wearing right now, blouse or shirt. It's kind of like inspired by the pajama um, sets. It comes with trousers, but I only got the shirt because I was really curious to see how it would fit me and I absolutely love it. Now this costs $39.99. It's not 100% cotton, which I would mostly preferred. I think it's viscose. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it has a very light feel. Um, it fits really, really nice. I love the length. So if you are one of those people who like to like wear it outside, I prefer to tuck it into my trousers because I have a lot of high-waisted trousers and the ones that I'm wearing are from Topshop. I just love how this shirt fits. It's really, really cool. Um, I love the contrast stitching as well because it just gives it a more cooler vibe. Um, it's not just like you would wear something like this to go to work. You can wear it on your day, kind of like a casual day or for a date night as well with a pair of heels. I think it would look super cool. And I also love the buttons, the button detail as well on the shirt. It just makes it look super, super nice. And I absolutely love it. Now moving on to the items I have here on my clothing rack, I'm going to start with the white off white tops because I'm really into that type of collar at the moment. And I'm going to start with the top that kind of like inspired me to dig into the collection. And it is pristine white, it's super duper white top, which is very girly, very pretty. When I saw this top on the model, I was like, I really, really want to try this. It's very, very fitted. It doesn't have a lot of stretch. It has a little bit of stretch. It's a very kind of like thin cotton material. I wouldn't say it's see-through, but you definitely need kind of like something to cover your breasts. Um, and it's very, very fitted. The first time I tried it on, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to keep it because I could barely close the zipper, but it was that time of the month. So I was bloated, my breasts were bigger, my stomach was bigger, and I feel like it fits me a lot better now. I absolutely love this and I could definitely wear this top with the jeans that I'm wearing or something a little bit darker and then a pair of shoes that I bought which I will be showing throughout the video. This was very um, inexpensive for the style that it is. It's $29.99 and it's 100% cotton and love, love, love this piece. My next top is this one right here which I find super cute and different. I have nothing in my wardrobe that kind of like has this look. It's an off-white top, as you guys can see, and the sleeves are kind of like white. It has a lot of detail on the top, especially the one on the sleeves, which kind of like has this frill going on. You tie it up on the side. I find it very girly. I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep this because it's not really my style, but I thought I would just branch it out a little bit. I think it will look really nice with jeans, the jeans that I'm wearing or another pair of jeans a little bit darker. I think it's really nice for a spring, like a spring tra transitional piece uh, because it's not too light. It's actually a little bit heavier than the one that I showed previously. It's super pretty, really, really like it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should I keep it? Should I not keep it? It's in size extra large and I paid $25.99. Next, I have this tunic. I would say this is a tunic because it's a little bit longer but I really like the detail of this top. It's very casual, I would say. It's a short sleeve, not too short, kind of like a little bit above your elbow. 
um, and it has a lot of detail going on but it's very simple at the same time I love the fact that it's longer at the back but it feels like you're layered the piece when it's only one piece but it looks like you've layered it on top of another one I think it's super cool um, I love the color again because I'm really into lighter colors this one I got in size extra large and I also paid $25.99 next we have this top um, which is a little bit shorter than the previous one is more kind of like a t-shirt but it has a little bit more detail it's gathered here as you guys can see which I really like because the style right now is to tuck in your t-shirts inside your trousers and it makes it kind of like your outfit look a little bit nicer but this one already has the detail there it's textured throughout the material which is super cute and I love the fact that it's a v-neck I find that v-necks are a lot more um, nicer for me because I'm not small I'm like a size 16 I have the breasts are a little bit bigger so v-necks are actually really nice cuts for women of my size I find in my opinion but this top was super inexpensive it comes in two colors I have another one in black and I got it in size large because it's not a small top it's kind of like oversized and I paid 12 pounds and 99 my next top is in the same material or similar same color and it crosses over right here but it's all stitched so it's not something that you have to tie it up I find this a super duper pretty but I got it in size large it only goes to size large they don't have extra large and I find it too small this for me is more of a size medium UK if that makes sense so I don't feel comfortable wearing it I will be definitely returning this but I still wanted to show you guys because it's very inexpensive and I think it's a top that it's very versatile that you can wear with so many different things it was only seven pounds 99 so it's an absolute bargain next I have more of a basic top again in off-white it has long sleeves and it's textured throughout I really like the look of this top and the material is very kind of like fresh um, for this time of year so it's a definite good piece for transitioning from winter to spring and it's a basic it there's not much that I can say about it it is a little bit too long and you do need to be careful because it's kind of like see-through so you need to wear the right underwear I got this in size extra large and I got it for 12 pounds 99 so very affordable for a basic product and my last item in the white category or off-white is this white t-shirt which is a perfect perfect basic for any outfit in your wardrobe and I have to stress you need to have a white t-shirt in your wardrobe because it just goes with everything now this one has more of a larger opening here at the neck it's not boat like a boat opening but it is quite large um, it is oversized it's a little bit uh, longer on the back and it's hundred percent cotton it feels really good quality for what it is it was super inexpensive it was um, five pounds 99 and I got this in size extra large I just don't feel like I want to keep it because I don't find that t-shirts which have a huge opening here are very flattering on my body but please comment below uh, you guys are seeing it in a different light per se what I don't like seeing on me sometimes other people say it's nice so let me know in the comments below if it's something that I should keep I don't want to keep it just because it's affordable or cheap because it's only five pounds 99 I want to keep it because I know I'm going to wear it so let me know in the comments below what you guys think my next piece is this beautiful blush pink shirt which i absolutely love it has pearls all over so you guys can not all over but the buttons are uh, the detail is in a pearl um, you also have it here on the sleeve which is beautiful I love this shade and I think it's a shade that will complement so many different skin tones I love the material it's very it's thicker than the one that I'm wearing but it's still quite fresh and I will definitely be wearing this to go to work for casual um, outings with the family for dinner for, you know like it's a casual look but it's very pretty and I would definitely wear this with a pair of white trainers or um, some flat sandals I absolutely love the look and highly recommend now this was only $25.99 it comes in two colors they also have a khaki green which I'm tempted to get but I feel like I want to keep my wardrobe very simple at the moment so this is definitely a piece that I'll be wearing a lot 
staying in the same color i have a basic t-shirt here which has a v-neck as you guys know this is what i absolutely love it's what suits me and it is a little bit um longer at the back not too much and it also has kind of like a detail here on the back which i really like it's very um casual but it can be very girly as well if you uh, layer the right pieces like nice accessories which i am going to invest uh, very soon and I'll be doing a haul on that but I really really like the t-shirts from Zara and I tend to buy them early um, in their collection because they tend to sell out very very quickly again I got it in size extra large and it was only five pounds 99 moving on to gray and I believe this is the only piece that I have in this collection which is gray another t-shirt exactly the same as the white one that I previously shown so I'm not going to talk too much about it it's the same size extra large five pounds 99 again I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep it just because of the opening and it is quite oversized I mean I could wear it maybe to go to the gym or something um, more of a casual kind of like outfit but I don't know let, let me know what you guys think should I keep it should I not keep it it's exactly the same as the white one um, I can maybe style it in a different way I do really like the material 100% and cotton uh, but yeah let me know what you guys think my next piece is definitely a little bit more daring for me but I absolutely love it and it's this beautiful black laced body Zara makes amazing bodies and again I decided to buy it straight away because they actually have this all the way up to size extra large and usually they only go up to size large which is a little bit too fitted for me but I love the fit and the look of this. I love the fact that I don't need to wear a bra. I hate wearing bras and I know a lot of you are in the same place as me, but we do need to wear it because you know, we don't want to flash anybody outside. But I love the fact that with this body, I don't need to wear a bra because it just covers everything in the right places it shows skin in the right places is not too much and although i am a size 16 it's still nice to show a little bit of skin for certain occasions but not look tacky and i feel like this um body does that it just shows enough but not too much and still looks sexy absolutely love it it was super inexpensive again i got it in size extra large and i paid $15.99. My next item is this really pretty blouse, which I really, really like. It kind of like has a tuxedo type of look. It's a little bit more loose, but then here on the V opening, it has a little bit of lace peeking through. It's super pretty, very classy. This I would definitely wear for a night out for drinks or, um, a date night um i really really like the look of this it doesn't show too much it kind of like leaves things to the imagination but it looks classy um it's quite dressed up but the material just makes it look a little bit more cooler it's a lovely piece to transition from winter to spring and i love the fact that it has some pearls over here it doesn't open it's just a kind of like over the head type of top uh, but I really like the look. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I got it in size extra large and it was £25.99. Next, I have this black top right here, which is the same as the off-white top that I showed before, which has a little bit of a gathering detail right here. It's textured. Again, I got this in size large because it's an oversized top. I really like the look of this. It's super inexpensive. It's something that I can wear to go to work with jeans or with culottes, which I really Really, really like and I like the material it looks a little bit dressed up but casual at the same time because of how it looks but layered with really nice um, accessories I think it will look super nice um, it was £12.99 and again I got this in size large my next two items are going to be uh, black t-shirts again I feel like these are basics that everybody should have in their wardrobe and I'm showing them at the same time because they're exactly the same but the color is a little bit different this one is black is black and this one is kind of like a tired black or washed black if that makes any sense which i really like it kind of like gives black a little bit of a different look both of them were i think um actually this one was nine pounds 99 i'm not entirely sure it's a little bit different and the black one it was five pounds 99 so 
perfect basics for every day to go out to layer um, with a jacket like a blazer or a leather jacket. Um, I got them both in size extra large. I could have gone for a smaller size, but I tend to tumble dry most of my cotton items. So more than likely it will shrink a little bit, but I absolutely love these two and I'll be definitely wearing this a lot. So my next piece is a check blazer, which is something that I've been wanting to get for such a long time because it's what's in right now. Everybody owns a checked blazer. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to keep this one, although I feel like it's very pretty. I just don't feel like it's the right cut for me. It is supposed to be a little bit oversized. Um, and Zara's doing so well with their blazers, but I wanted something like this a little bit more fitted. Not too fitted, but not as oversized as this one. And I feel like because it doesn't have any buttons on the sleeves, um, it makes it look a little bit too casual. Um, I would, pref would have preferred to have sleeves on it, but I also like seeing it with, um, with the sleeves folded or just gathered up. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. It is double breasted. Um, it is well done, uh, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep it. So I got this in size extra large. I paid $69.99. I don't think I would have gone to size large because if I was trying to close it, it probably wouldn't close on my hips. Um, but it is really pretty. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep it or I should go for a different style. My next item was not bought at the same time as all of these, but I have it for the past month and I've been loving it. And I want to share it with you guys because leather jackets in Zara sell out very, very quickly. You might find the faux leather ones still in stock even in the sales, but leather ones, the larger sizes just disappear really quick. So I wanted to touch base on this. I absolutely love this leather jacket. The only thing that irritates me is this right here. They don't do this very well. It's very loose and every time I'm walking out, I can hear myself jiggling, ding, 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 ding outside and it's really annoying. But besides that, I absolutely love the look of this leather jacket. It was 99. 99 so a little bit more on the pricier side but for high street that's kind of like the basic price if you want to invest a little bit more i was thinking about all saints it's going to cost me around 300 pounds and i'm not even sure if their sizing would fit me so i'm really happy with this um, leather jacket maybe i'll invest in one that has a little bit better quality in the future but at as of now, I absolutely love it. I think the price is actually on point and I can wear it just on top of a t-shirt or a jumper. Um, it has a lot of space in there. It's not too fitted, which I really, really like. And again, it will go with so many different things. Now moving on to accessories, which I only have one and it's a handbag. And I absolutely love the look of this bag. It's completely black. It looks like this. It's a really beautiful material. It's not leather, but it feels really soft. It feels really well made. And I love the detail of this chain right here. Well, it's not a chain, but like the detail of the metal here. It's really nice. So you can actually wear this bag like this on your shoulder, just like that. Or if you prefer, you can have the longer strap which is quite long actually, but you can kind of like change the um, length and just put it like that. Sorry, you guys can't really see it, but the bag is really well made. Now I prefer leather bags, but I also like bags that they take the time to make a really good bag and it doesn't look like it's not leather because this one actually looks. The only thing like I feel like this bag is missing is studs at the bottom, but you can't ask for everything. Um, I love the detail over here. It has a few little strings just hanging. It makes it look a little bit more rocky, if that makes any sense, like rocky style. Um, it opens over here, so you leave it like that and it has a compartment at the front and it also has a compartment at the back and i feel like you can carry a lot of stuff in this bag to be honest this would probably be a bag that i would wear every day to go to work i am loving my long chomp but i'm tiring the bag out and i feel like i always put so much stuff in there but when the weather gets a little bit warmer i think i want to carry a little bit less and i feel like this bag will definitely do the job it was a 39.99 so a little bit more on the expensive side although it's not leather but i think it will give me a lot of use 
use with my outfits. Now moving on to shoes, I have these Chanel-esque shoes right here, which I am obsessed with and so in love with them. I had to hold myself not to wear them last week because I had a birthday party because I wanted to show you guys the shoes completely new. Love, love, love these. Now, I never ever thought I would get into this style of shoe because of the heel. Um, if you would ask me five years ago, would you want to wear this? Or even maybe last year, I would have said, mm, that's for a more mature lady. However, these are so beautiful and they're staples for so many people because they are inspired by Chanel. As you guys already know, the slingback shoes, which are very, very expensive. And I actually prefer the look of these ones. Um, I like the chunky heel and I feel like it's a beautiful piece to transition from winter to spring because it will go so well with so many items that I have in my wardrobe and as well because it's closed at the front. It covers your toes, but it shows a little bit of foot at the back. So it's definitely lovely for those days that it's more like around 19, 20 degrees and above. I think it's a beautiful shoe. It is made of real suede and leather, which is awesome. And they were $49.99. I got them in size 41. And when it comes to shoes from Zara, I always buy 41 because they don't have half sizes and the 40 is a little bit too tight. So I feel like these ones fit me a lot better. Absolutely love them and highly recommend. And the last item from this video are these beautiful slippers. I absolutely love the look of these as well. They're also inspired by a designer and I will put the name here on the screen because for the life of me, I cannot remember right now, but I always see Zara having uh, slippers like this every year and I always think, should I buy them? I have more of a wider foot, so not everything looks good in my opinion, but these ones, I love the color um, and I love the look of them as well. The only issue I have, I bought them in size eight, but I feel like they are a little bit big for me. I can see when I put my foot inside that I can see a little bit of space at the back, not too much, but I do see it. But I think it's a beautiful slipper, which is can be used casually or with a more dressed up look, but for the day, if that makes any sense, I wouldn't wear this to go out at night unless I'm on a holiday or something like that. But I do really like them and I can see myself wearing them to death. They were really inexpensive, again, size eight um, or 41, and I got them for $25.99 and they are real leather. So that is it for today's haul. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did, what are the pieces that you enjoy the most. Give this video a good thumbs up if you did. And if you are Portuguese, make sure to head on over to my other channel because I'm going to be talking about all these pieces again in Portuguese. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.